I always had in the back of my mind that we could come back together like J-Lo and Ben Affleck or like other people did. And I believe that we work together pretty good. J-Lo and Ben Affleck? Don't make me laugh. Now, I don't know what this woman is on, but it's crazy to me that just weeks after her breakup from Josh, Natalie has now set her sights back on Mike. She's not only hoping to get back with him, but she's also hoping he might be able to impregnate her. Honestly, this could be my moment to save my marriage. I believe in miracles. <laughs> Now, before we dive into exactly what Natalie and her mum are after, and not to mention Natalie and Mike's awkward meeting, let's just rewind back to the start. So we left Natalie realising that sperm donation wasn't for her after she'd just broken up with Josh. Now, the urgency and speed that Natalie expected Josh to be ready to marry her was unfair. But now, Natalie finds herself in LA, single and desperate to have a child. But the only problem is, she has no man. All my dreams just feel kind of disappear at one time. Because she had a plan with Josh. Now I don't have a plan. If Natalie was a self-fulfilled person, then all her dreams should still be achievable. Like, she's still in LA. She still wants to be an actress. So go ahead, Natalie, go and do it. There's no better place to make that dream happen. Only the problem is, the pressure to get married, the pressure to have kids, has got Natalie and her mum, especially her mum, focusing on a new target. Now, as Natalie's mum bizarrely fries up what looks to be five Eggo waffles in a pan, Natalie explains what she's struggling with. Просто я не вижу себя в свои 38 лет снова встречаться с кем-то, строить какие-то отношения. Yes, we all know that the hardest thing about a breakup is having to start from scratch again. Having to put yourself back out there, meet new people, and trying to build something again from ground zero. But if I'm going to be brutally honest, it's not exactly as if her and Josh's relationship had that much depth to it. I mean, they only dated for about a year, in which time she never even went to his apartment. But if Natalie doesn't want to start from scratch, her mum has the perfect solution. She reveals what she's done behind Natalie's back. Yes, I'm calling Michael. Да. И пригласила его сюда. Это так нечестно со стороны Джоши. Yeah, Natalie's meddling mum is gonna be the end of her. Like, it was her that riled Natalie up about Josh not proposing that eventually led to Natalie ending things with Josh. But that was a bit harsh. I mean, what exactly did Josh do that was so bad? The guy went out of his way to help Natalie and her mum. Yet, yeah, here we are again, back to Natalie's mum influencing her. And this time, her influence isn't quite so subtle. She's making it very clear she wants Natalie to get back together with Mike. Да, мама, ты понимаешь, как бы все классно, только Майк не хочет со мной мириться. Да, даже. Natalie starts to get emotional, and you can kind of understand why. She came to LA naive with stars in her eyes, and everything she expected and thought would happen has pretty much fallen through. But even with that being the case, is it fair of her to now go running into the comforting arms of her ex just because her newest relationship hasn't panned out as she wished? It just feels very manipulative, very wrong in my eyes. I, I like I have a lot of mixed feelings, but on the other hand, I hope Michael will bring some light into my life. Now, I would say that it's no longer Mike's job to do that, but apparently he's all too willing to travel to come and see her, apparently under the guise that he'll be seeing her mum. Now, while we keep on calling Mike Natalie's ex, in reality, technically, they are still married. The divorce papers haven't yet been filed. So if Natalie doesn't want to start from scratch, this might be the answer. And surprise, surprise, Natalie's mum is already ready one step ahead of her. Может, он тебя любит. Даже вот через столько времени продолжает любить. 
Не, ну, я хочу его видеть. Я хочу знать, как он. Natalie's acting cool, but you can see the cogs turning in her head. She hates being alone, she wants to get married and have kids, and now Michael is coming to LA. Now, granted, she is conveniently overlooking the fact that she and Mike broke up for a reason. She left him for a reason. She said she wasn't happy. But, at the same time, they are still technically married for a reason too, right? Like, it must mean something that the paperwork, the divorce, hasn't been finalized yet, right? It's the ideal time to get married. Here's perspective, child. Your Michael. Natalie's mum is living in a complete fantasy. Her relentless pressure on Natalie to provide her grandkids maybe gives us an insight into why Natalie is the way she is. The truth is, everyone can see that if Natalie's seriously considering this, she's really going to come across as very desperate. Heck, she's only just broken up with Josh. It's only been a matter of weeks. Yet already, desperately, she's turning back to the man she left purely out of fear of being alone. Я просто плачу. Потому что может быть будет лучше. Может быть мы договоримся. Может быть лучше. И и всегда. Но у нас будут ещё дети и будут внуки. Wait, what? <laughs> Hold on. I'm sorry. We'll still have kids. Literally all Natalie's mum can think about is having grandkids and it's clearly clouding her vision. It's sad to see Natalie go from acknowledging that Michael doesn't want her to now contemplating making up with him in order to have kids. I haven't seen him more than over a year, but honestly me and Michael were the same page about having a child and family and all of that. Now, while we're not entirely clear when this was all filmed, had Natalie and her mum taken the time to take a look at Mike's Instagram, there's a very good chance they'd have known that Mike is in a relationship with a new lady. He began cryptically posting about her back in June 2023. So suspending disbelief slightly, or assuming that this was filmed prior to June 2023, Natalie's clearly still clinging on to the hope that maybe she might be able to use Mike as her baby maker. I still have some feelings for Mike and I think like he might have some feelings for me too. I know he's coming to see mama, but it's a good chance for us to reconnect. See how quickly Natalie deludes herself. She went from Michael doesn't want me to I think he may have some feelings for me too all in the span of one conversation with her mum. Yeah, if ever you needed proof of her mum's influence on her, this is it. With her mum's encouragement, Natalie has just got caught up in the fantasy. Now, as far as the meetup is concerned, the trio have made plans to meet at the farmer's market, and Natalie is treating it like a date. I'm excited and I'm nervous. I'm kind of... I'm thinking in my head what I'm gonna say, how I'm gonna look, oh god. Now that she's got her eyes set on Michael, Natalie is able to acknowledge that she and Josh broke up for a reason and it was all for the best. And as the mother and daughter pair walk through the market, it's very obvious that they're both far too excited about the prospect of this reunion. In fact, before they even meet him, Natalie's mum wants to double check that Natalie has a game plan. Вообще, я никогда не могла подумать, что я окажусь в такой ситуации. И мне очень тяжело, потому что когда я об этом думаю, я бы хотела, чтобы вы были вместе, чтобы была семья, чтобы вы были так же счастливы, как в начале. Mm -hmm. You know why you never thought you'd be in this situation, Natalie? Because you don't love Mike. If you really truly did love Mike, surely you'd have daydreamed about getting back together a few times at least by now. But Natalie is now well and truly under the influence of her mum. And their mission, the goal for today, is to try and re-establish Natalie's relationship with Mike. And so the charm offensive begins. Oh my god. It's my kushi. Oh, Hi, Michael. Michael. Oh, 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 o
Oh yeah, that's right. We were pretending that this trip was about Mike coming to see Natalie's mum. How silly of me to have forgotten. <laughs> now, when it's Natalie's turn to greet Mike, she gives him a bunch of hand-picked flowers, and the pair share an exceptionally long hug. It's so long that you've got to wonder whether or not there really are still some lingering feelings involved. And seeing this, seeing what she thinks are her plans taking shape, Natalie's mum can't help but beam a huge smile in the background. I always had in the back of my mind that we could come back together like J-Lo and Ben Affleck or like other people did. Of course Natalie sees herself as Jennifer Lopez in this situation. I wouldn't expect anything less. But I will say this, Mike seems to be enjoying that hug every bit as much as Natalie is. So maybe Natalie's mum's brainwashing is working on me too. I'm watching this, starting to think a reunion might actually be possible. And I believe that we work together pretty good. And I don't know how to, it's a magic. I'm gonna come back together with my husband. Well, that's that then. Natalie's decided. Forget everything else. Forget the logistics of where to live. Forget the girlfriend that Mike may or may not have at this point. Forget all of their history, all of the issues that these two faced when they were together. Natalie wants a baby, so that's that. But for as strange and self-absorbed as this attitude is, Mike isn't exactly discouraging of this just yet. I know Natalie and her mom both love me and I love them, you know, I, I do. Um, we got history. So is all of this just because of the history they share? Or is there something a bit deeper than that? Well, the groceries are purchased from the market, and I'm gonna rudely assume that they're probably purchased on Michael's dime. You've got to assume that Josh isn't supporting Natalie anymore, and from what we know, she's still unemployed. In fact, this might be just the opportunity, the pity card, that Natalie needs to try and worm her way back into to Mike's affection, to try and get him to open up his heart and maybe even his wallet again. Мы живем скромно. Like, like living with God. Да. At least we have one bed than us, and you know, so we are fine. They're putting on this brave face and conveniently pretending as if Natalie didn't have a nice house, a better living situation when she was with Mike. Yeah, she's also conveniently forgotten to mention that Josh bought her a car. Now, Mike seems like a man of few words today. He tells them both that he's glad Natalie's mum is safe out of the war in Ukraine, and that he was happy he could help bring her to the States in any way that he could. Mama likes here, and for my opportunity it is better because entertainment industry is just all around. It's just so funny because I came to America for you. It's just so funny I came to America for you is so weirdly passive aggressive, but I really don't think Natalie realizes it. It's the implication of it, isn't it? I came to America for you and now I'm living in a tiny apartment and sharing a bed with my mum. This is all your fault, Mike. Yeah, very passive aggressive. That is basically what she's hinting at, isn't it? Now, this is the point at which Natalie takes the opportunity to adamantly explain that her relationship with Josh is over, and her mum intervenes once more. But he's not in my life. He's not. Okay. It's Michael. No, now it's just ideal time. No, our family is together. Natalie's mum is in prime matchmaker mode. She suggests that she should go home and leave these two to talk privately. But for some reason, while she's doing this, Natalie sits at the table with her head hung low as if she's sulking. And Michael suddenly realises what's going on. He came all this way to see Natalie's mum and she's already leaving? Really? Mama wants, uh, you know, she seems stressed. Maybe we just walk uh, around and talk uh, privately without mom. That's it. 
She seems stressed, says Natalie, all the while while her mum is trying desperately to hide her smile. Who are you trying to fool, Natalie? I don't see stress in your mum's face right now. And Mike can see what's coming. While he may have enjoyed the hug when he first met them, you can just tell that he's now really not looking forward to one-on-one -on -one time with Natalie. Honestly, this could be my moment to save my marriage. After all the story with Josh, relocation, I could actually fix it. Sorry, but Natalie's crazy. That's the be all and end all of this. I mean, there's no other way to put it. The moment to save your marriage should probably have been years ago when it was falling apart, Natalie. Not now. Whatever crazy thoughts she has, whatever high hopes she's living on that she may be able to rebuild a relationship with Mike. Brace yourselves, because I have a feeling Mike is going to put pay to those very, very quickly, and Natalie might not react too well.